Good evening, everyone. It's been cold outside lately. It's, been, it's like we're living on the Oregon coast in the mornings. It's crazy. Well, I've uh, prepared a short little speech for what I think are veterans for this occasion tonight. Um, and this is my first public speaking, so if I slip up, uh, bear with me, please. Um, so today, I woke up, I got out of bed, I was listening to my radio play, and uh, didn't have a care in the world. I didn't have to deal with the, uh, the, harsh reality of poverty and starvation. <laughs> fight off in terror, or invaders and terrorists just to live. Instead, I got out of bed, prepared for my day, as every average American teenager should. Now, when most people think of the freedoms that this country provides for its citizens, they think, that we get these freedoms from the wars we win. I don't, I don't disagree, but I don't believe that this is entirely true. The freedoms that we as Americans get are outcomes of the sacrifices that countless men and women have made to protect this remarkable country. Now, the definition of a veteran is a person who has I'm sorry, it's... I, I, <laughs> Alright, the definition of a veteran, according to the Webster's Dictionary, is, a pers is someone who has an extensive amount of experience in a certain field. Uh, in the case of an American soldier, I, I don't believe this to do justice for them. To me, a veteran is an honorable person who has gone through unthinkable experiences and in or who has gone through unthinkable experiences and endured. Someone who has given up a portion of their soul to safeguard the ideals of our country. Someone who has laid their life on the line to protect you, me, and countless others. Granted, if it weren't for the ex-servicemen we're honoring today, it's possible I wouldn't be here right now. That alone is reason enough for me to praise and respect all who are in, who have been involved with, and who have been discharged from military service. Not long ago, I was listening to, the, to an experienced and highly skilled veteran tell me about some of the less gruesome exploits he went on in his days of service. And as I listened, I realized that if I were ever put in a position in which I would have to deal with similar circumstances, I might, have, might not have the mental capacity to deal with such, such circumstances. This made me rec recognize how thankful I am for having people to bear the burden, which I, as a teenager, can't, to protect me and my family from people who wish harm upon anyone in this great country. Today, we thank you veterans of the United States. We relish your sacrifices you made to keep this country free and celebrate that you were victorious. Thank you. Have a nice day.